Hello and welcome to Excel in Business series. In this lesson, we will be talking about performance analysis, balance scorecards, SLEs and KPIs. What is performance measurement or performance management or performance analysis? Well, it's all about measuring, analyzing and managing how well a company did in the past, is doing in the present and will do in the future. Success is identified through a set of key performance indicators. KPIs, they are called. KPIs are measurable. Now let's talk about balance call cards. Previously, performance was traditionally measured only in terms of financials. This of course led to a lot of problems because everyone trying to meet financial targets without thinking about any other performance measure, at the end of the day you kill the goose that lays the golden eggs. So recently a theoretical balance call card was proposed which balances other performance man management. Uh, I think that was somewhere around 1990s. It was uh, proposed by Kaplan and Norton. The other performance management were learning and development, customer satisfaction and internal business process. Now um, the idea behind the whole performance management balance core card is something like this. I once subscribed to a telephone company which were really crap, or rather a mobile phone company which were really crap. They were so bad to the extent that when I got fed up and left them, they kept my, vo my phone on voicemail, uh, my number on voicemail. So when anyone calls, it goes into voicemail and they get paid. Of course, I retrieved my phone, deactivated the voicemail a thousand times, but it kept on going back to that voicemail. Right? Now, it's great for them, increased profits. But in terms of satisfaction, my satisfaction level deeps with time. I have never used that network again for more than five years now. Now imagine others feel the same way about this telephone company. The trend that you will first notice is an increase in profitability with time as everyone comes towards increased profitability. But as more customers get fed up and exit the business, the profit will gradually start declining. Why is this? It's simple, because the very structure in which profitability is built has been destroyed. This is why it is important to balance as much performance elements of the business as possible. Right, how do KPIs and scorecards fit into all this? KPIs are the measurable attributes that are used to design scorecards which end up measuring the performance for the attributes that are important for business success. Yeah, I know they told you that you as a customer, you the king, the customer is king. But no, nope, business success is actually the king. Uh, sorry about that. Now, if you're wondering Okay, how does this fit into Excel? This is how it fits into Excel. Measurements, measurements, measurements. There are two ways to go about it. As an Excel guru, you could be told to build the tool that measures performance analysis, or you could input data into the tool that measures performance analysis. Let's take a quick look at the diagrams presented here. Let's say this is sales performance scorecard. You've got team A, B, C, D, T, whatever. And you've got performance measurements 1 to 10, 10 being the highest. These performance values are fed by some other KPIs or some other scorecards. These in turn might be fed by some other scorecard. So there might be a situation where yourself and the business lies 
to discover to design the balance scorecard the KPI is needed for performance evaluation so this is essentially how Excel fits into performance analysis thank you for watching this video in the next video we will be talking about SLAs and KPIs see you then bye bye